Nice victory for the baseball team, 8-5 to five atop of the Fairfield Stags. Uh, Dalton Roosh, I was calling you Roush all day, but I didn't switch it up because he had a good game. Two for four, uh, two RBI singles and a couple at bats there. Obviously your best uh, game where you're just seeing the baseball very big yeah. today. Uh, I made a few changes in my swing that uh, turned out for the better, so that was good. And um, just going up there with an the approach was mainly what I did. So. Coach is always talking about how the offense has sputtered just a little bit and wants a little more productive out of you guys. Do you take that as kind of a little knock on you guys and you're trying to kind of prove them wrong? Yeah, pitchers always go after the infielders and hitters because they say it's pitchers you, but we're trying to change that around this year. So He said on the pregame as well, you guys trying to change the approach here uh, in your non-conference games, uh, midweek games, trying to prepare for your game against Stony Brook coming up this weekend, and you guys are coming out getting some victories now three in a row. Are you guys using these games as preparation for your conference games? They mean a lot more? I mean, every game's a game. A victory is a victory. We're all looking for the win, but – Conference is what uh, we're going for, and this definitely is practice for a conference, but it's not just practice. It's it's a game. Congratulations on the big day. Uh, we'll bring on in your coach, Justin Blood, here. Coach, uh, nice victory, 8-5. to five. You guys explode for uh, six runs in uh, what was a, a very long fifth inning when you send 11 to the plate. So is the offense trying to get uh, to where you want it to be uh, here and preparing for your conference game coming up this weekend? Yeah, they, they swung the bats pretty well today. We were given a couple of things as well. So that inning was a huge inning for us. Um, we still we still need to be better. But it, it, there were there were some guys that took some good swings. Alfonso came off the bench and, and got, had a good swing. Uh, and Dalton obviously uh, performed pretty well today too. You guys have a big matchup with Stony Brook coming on in. It'll be Van Derker versus Newcomb. Should be a good, solid crowd. Uh, but how do you kind of put that aside and, you know, focus on trying to get the series victory with what you need to do in conference play? Yeah, I mean, we know what Van Derker can do. We've seen him uh, between uh, playing at their home and home series with him. We've seen him. This will be the fourth time now, I think. Uh, McNitt the same. Uh, and they know our guys, Brian Hunter and, and Newcomb. So Sunday will be, uh, or game three will be the only day where two guys that neither opponent's seen will be taking the mound. So when you, when you face someone that you know very well, you have a lot of information on, it just makes every little play, every little decision that much more important because uh, you know what they're coming at you with. It's just who executes better. So uh, based on today, that's what we talked about after the game today. We didn't execute very well. It was actually a very, very sloppy game. Um, so hopefully we got that out of our systems and uh, we'll execute at a much higher level on Saturday. A little cold here as I'm shaking with the microphone, but uh, boys do get the victory 8-5 to five against Fairfield. Uh, I guess that start time for Saturday will be uh, determined. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for the latest as the Seabulls of Stony Brook coming to town this weekend.